Well, welcome to another Outdoor Intrigue adventure. We've come out a ways up the hill already and uh, I'm out for a solo overnighter out here. Um, got everything packed in the bag. Looks like we're going to get the weather dropping into some really cold temperatures or at least down below zero through the night. So it should be nice. Fairly breezy, but nothing too bad. It's been very wet lately, so I'm interested to see if we can find a, a dry spot to pitch or at least something that's not totally saturated. You can probably hear all the water running around us. It's been a, a lot of rain. <laughs> Seems like forever lately, but pretty beautiful. It's, it's not raining at the moment. Tomorrow should be pretty clear, hopefully for sunrise. So yeah, heading up out. We've not got long until sunset now. So we need to get up here towards the summit and find somewhere to pitch the tent up. That's the summit of Kruachavuk, uh, 635 metres he is. It's only quite a wee hill by the standards of around here, but gives you a really great viewpoint in these areas where you have these sea locks cutting in. You get this real perception of how everything drops away. It's, uh, it's reasonably windy up here, not too bad, but there's a fair, a fair clip. And obviously you can probably tell it's blowing a lot of, um, a lot of cloud through at the moment. So my next plan is to try and find somewhere to pitch the tent.
now it's been on and off sort of rain sleet there was a little bit of a snow mix at one point it's very cold in the wind i managed to go get some water so we've got water now but uh, i think it's time to jump in the tent and chill out for the night pretty much so let's get in Not much in the way of visibility. <laughs> we just back it. It did clear up for a minute and I could see a moon. I opened the zip a little bit and I could see the moon out this way. And it was quite a full moon. But now, um, yeah, we're back in a cloud at the moment, a very cold cloud. It's, just, it's around freezing right now. You can see we obviously had a bit of snow, snowy sleet at some point. So yeah, gonna get back in. Got uh, another boil going, making some dinner. Got the uh, summit to eat macaroni and cheese. I really like this one, it is good. Very tasty. Yeah, just been chilling out. Just gonna watch the rugby. South Africa, England, see what happened. I was born in South Africa and grew up in England, so <laughs> should be a fun one to watch. Although these days I'm a Scotland supporter, really, living up here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gotten really cold. Uh, a little bit of snow out there on the tent. It's more like icy mush really, but um, the wind seems to have dropped off slightly. It was it was picking up for a while. And we had a bit of clear sky, but it uh, didn't last long. So hopefully in the morning, I set my alarm for uh, before sunrise, sunrise in around eight o'clock, I think seven minutes past eight tomorrow morning. So yeah, just got this on, have some snacks, and then um, keep chilling out in the warm tent. <laughs> All good with the tent so far. I made a couple of changes to the one end of the, so this is the Terra Nova um, Laser Comp 1. And uh, I made a change to the guy lines on the one end because I wanted to try it out and see whether it was worth doing on both ends. Uh, either rain or snow. Um, so yeah, it seems like it definitely is worth doing on both ends because the end I've done it on, I used the extra points and uh, it, um, it's definitely made it a lot more stable that way and it kind of pulls it right down towards the ground. It seems to sort of like, yeah, really leach right onto the ground there. So that looks good. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that on the other side. I attached the pole sleeve properly as well so that it's kind of permanently on there because I didn't want to be faffing with that every time. I think that's such an annoying design scenario, but anyway. And then uh, the adjusters to sort of tighten that pole sleeve, I added line locks to make it so you can just slide them along. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far I do like the tent overall. It seems pretty good. It's not hard to pitch and it's, um, it's I obviously only used it on one outing, so this is the second outing. and we'll see how it goes. And uh, I guess we'll see how it goes throughout this winter and give it a good battery. But yeah, I do like it so far. It's nice and light. I mean, I've got it, even with the um, extra guy line bits and pieces, we're still around 1.1 kilograms, so not not too bad at all something that seems to be pretty pretty competent in terms of weather and uh capability and size wise it's good as well there's plenty of room in here to cook and all the rest of it so that's pretty cool yeah i got my quilt with me again today um not even got the warmest one out yet <laughs> just using the medium quilt <laughs> so that should be hopefully warm enough fingers crossed right let's check this boil and make some dinner
It's very cold this morning. It stayed windy throughout the whole night. There wasn't much respite from the wind. So I got some sleep, but not as good as it could have been. <laughs> and the temperatures dropped down pretty low. Nothing too serious, it's minus one this morning. It looks like that's pretty much the coldest it's been, is about minus one. Obviously with the breeze, when you're out here in it, it must feel like a lot lower than that. Probably more like, feels like minus six or seven. This is a decent breeze blowing through, but it's a beautiful morning. Obviously lovely and clear. Still just before sunrise, I think we've got not long. Got about 20 minutes until sunrise. Ema. Got Vorlich and Vane over here. frozen but uh, we'll get that in the bag and then we can uh, start making our way trace apart from an indentation and a little bit of ice. That's us packed up. We're all packed up. That's it. So let's head out.
Well, that's us pretty much back home. Time to go get a shower, coffee and toast. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, then maybe check out some of our other videos. And if you enjoy those too, then think about subscribing. We always really appreciate it. If you've got any questions about anything, then just leave it down in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Otherwise, appreciate you watching and see you next time.